Hello my fellow nerds, welcome back to Hero News. If you want updates on your favorite superhero movies slash TV shows, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now there hasn't been too much in the news lately, just little tiny pieces of news here and there, which is why I haven't made a video in the last couple of days. So today is going to be your first Hero News Weekly Roundup. Earlier this week, IRFest Season 2 showrunner Raven Metzner revealed that Moon Knight was talked about around the same time as Typhoid Mary. Now this led a lot of fans to believing that Moon Knight was supposed to be in Iron Fist Season 2. But as it turns out, this was just a misunderstanding. When a fan later questioned the showrunner asking if they were talking about Moon Knight in general or putting him in this season, and the showrunner responded with, in general, as he is also a Marvel character who suffers from DID, uh, which I believe is Dissociative Identity Disorder. Yeah, I didn't Google that one. But I think it would be a great idea if Netflix added this to their lineup of Defenders. The dark tone that they have right now that's set for their shows, it would just fit so perfectly with what they got going on right now. I just don't think at the current moment he would fit too well into the MCU, you know, on the big screen. They're just a lot more hopeful and happy, regardless of what's going on with Infinity War right now. Next in DC news, The Flash got a new suit for season 5. Man, it's been five years already. These years have gone by in a flash. <laughs> I'll go lock myself in my closet now. Poor taste aside. The new suit is a little disgusting. I like it, but I don't like it. It has padding in the right places, I'll give it that. It's not like Shazam, where he looks like a horrible Power Rangers villain. It just looks a little goofy, especially without the chin strap. Maybe if Grant Gustin was more of a muscular guy, it would look right, but as of right now, it doesn't look all that good in my opinion. They shouldn't have took away the chin strap. Everyone wants to talk about the chin strap and how good it looks without it. I, I disagree. I think the chin strap helped modernize the suit and helped it not look so ridiculous. But the suit has definitely come a long way since season one. I tell you what, I fuck with the mirrors though. In Avengers news, we got Chris Hemsworth giving us a teaser of what's to come in Avengers 4. Kind of. You're probably wondering why there's a panda on screen. Just watch. Hey mates, listen thank you so much for this award. Please tell all the fans how appreciative I am, this is fantastic. You know what, as a big thank you, I'm going to give you a couple of spoilers for Avengers 4. I don't know who else is if, if you and your friends can keep this secret, okay? So the first one is um, Thor has a new weapon in Avengers 4, okay? It's his thing. The, the other secret is the movie is going to be called... You know, it's crazy, and I said... I said, we have to, because it's true. So that's the name of the movie. I can't thank you enough, I can't thank the fans enough, uh, this is just brilliant, and I wish I was there tonight with you all, I'm sorry, um, but uh, thank you again, I love you all, cheers. Thanos, stop killing my friends! Man, they are really gonna make us wait for this title, but I am wondering if Thor is getting a new weapon. More than likely, he's just getting some kind of upgrade for his axe. Um, by the way, how does he still have the axe if Groot made the handle, but Groot was erased? Barry gotta stop messing with them timelines. But that's all I have for you today, guys. See, not much going on. If you like these type of videos and you prefer the videos to be like this instead, please tell me in the comments below. And if you haven't already and you want updates on your favorite superhero movies slash TV shows, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until the next video, guys, you're watching Hero News. Have a good one.